I'm just gonna say this right now. You guys do not want to miss this video. You guys could drop a like on this video because I'm gonna be hooking up some people with the actual game. Depending on, I don't know if I want to sign them or not, or just give you guys the pre-order uh, bonus. You know what it is. But if you guys could drop a like on this video, subscribe. Multiplayer K3 might be back here. We'll see. We'll see. Drop a like, boy. Subscribe and comment down below. Uh, enjoy today's video. I'm coming into this with low expectations. Um, so you know, we'll see. But it should be pretty sad. I always become a little kid when the new Call of Duty comes out. So. Uh, we'll see what happens. So what is the objective? Half of the map here. There's an armored train. Welcome to the Battle of Avenge. Set a drop point for your team, Move soldier. Me. All right. Holy cow, what is all this? I don't even think this is what we're supposed to be doing. This is cool. <laughs> Train is approaching the ambush location. Oh, snap. Oh. Do they kill us or what? What, what, what is this? We're almost there, fellas. We are almost there. This thing is moving hella fast as well. So let me try to get a above the action here. I just personally can't believe I died in the beginning. You know, I really hope that they add World at War remaster maps to the game. I mean, that'll be awesome. Like I said, multiplayer has been in a weird state. And you know, I just don't want them to make the same mistake that they've been making, guys. It's, I'm a multiplayer guy at heart, and you guys know that. You know, I don't want them to make the same mistake. I want a multiplayer to be so fun. I want to play Warzone. Trust me, I do. It's just that I want to enjoy playing multiplayer as well. It's just so important for me to do that. Uh, I feel empty sometimes when I haven't made a multiplayer in video in so long. Warzone now is just such in a weird state. Anti-cheat is just it just feels like it's never coming really. I, I don't know and uh, you know especially as like uh, for you guys, you guys are just like a, a regular player, like a casual. Dealing with hackers as a consecrator is another thing, you know? Like you want to try to put out content as officially, uh, efficiently as possible, and it's just kind of difficult to do that, you know, when you're dealt with just, uh, you know, so many hackers. With the integration of Warzone and Vanguard, you know, we won't have to deal with hackers, that there will be some kind of anti-cheat. I'm also hearing th things that they're going to vault all of the Cold War weapons, which uh, I don't really know how I feel about it. You know, it is what it is. I think I'm like 80% sure that that's what they're doing, but I could be wrong. But yeah, I, I definitely want like the MP40. I want the Tommy gun. Uh, I want the Browning. Uh, I, hopefully I'm talking about the right era. Um, I want the MG32. I want the Springfield. I want the PTRS. I mean, these are guns from World at War that I want. And I don't know if I'm talking about the same era. Call of Duty multiplayer needs to be in a different state that's my personal opinion man this thing is taking forever to kill how much does that do that does like i think that does like 500 damage every time i do that i don't know 500 i can't even count really we are all destroying this joint and we got another three 35k to go no yeah 35k i can't believe we get this overdrive give, give me some black ops was it Black Ops 3 vibes? Alright, so it's in the back now? What do we do now? Brain has been destroyed. Imagine if that was just the event right there. I think there's more to it though. Oh! Whoa. Wait. Wait. Oh shit. This isn't over yet. Oh. They're sending bombers. Get out of there now.
Oh, snap! Oh my god, this is so crazy. He's getting the supply drop. There's nothing in there. Oh! I feel like a little kid watching this right now. This is crazy. <laughs> the whole world is burning. Sometimes the only way to put out the flames is with more fire. MG! Springfield! Wait, car nine? No. The Malibu? Is that the Malibu pistol? This trailer is intense. to the Night Raid, Mastercraft, and Black Ops, Cold War, and Warzone. Wow. Wow. Curious to see how this is going to compare to, um, you know, World War II that we had. But let's go over some news, uh, what we know, and then uh, we can uh, go from there. That's a Charlie Intel for the news here to break it down for you guys. So Vanguard's multiplayer features new ways to play with combat pacing options. Standard, normal multiplayer, blitz, pack as many players as possible into a map, intense and chaos, tactical, hardcore style, and every bullet matters in lower player counts, which um, I don't know, that might be my thing. I might return to hardcore as you guys may or may not know. I loved hardcore. Vanguard will feature a new multiplayer mode called Champion Hill. Champion Hill combines elements of Battle Royale, Gunfight 2v2, and other elements into a new mode. Uh, more info on this mode to be announced later. Vanguard runs on Modern Warfare's engine with upgrades and expansions to support the world of Vanguard. With the returning to the Modern Warfare engine, the integration with Warzone will be seamless. Which I'm interested to see to see if they're going to reduce the Cold War weapons or just completely vault all of them and add all of these into. Because if they add all of these weapons into Vanguard, that's just going to be crazy. But I, I wouldn't mind it. There's just going to be a lot of opportunity, a lot of different variables and different ways to play Warzone at that point. Multiplayer will see the return of Gunsmith, but with more features, including the ability to pick ammo, type, and ballistics. So this is going to change a lot. This is going to change a lot. Multiplayer features destructible environments. Throw a grenade into a room. Everything will move. Be a 
affected. Shoot through planks, they are destroyed, creating new sight lines. Destroy door and open areas up on the map. Wow, I might have to actually touch multiplayer just to feel the realism of this game. I don't want to hype everything up as I'm doing right now. That's kind of contradictive, but I'm excited. Vanguard Zombies mode will be developed by Treyarch. Zombies and Vanguard will be a prologue. The Black Ops Cold Wars Dark Eight Ethers story. Uh, first time in Call of Duty history co-op mode will continue. So, I mean, I, I didn't really touch uh, zombies in Cold War, but uh, for you zombies fan, that's your news for that. Warzone will integrate Vanguard later this year and feature new anti-cheese system. Oh my gosh, I actually did not know that. I, I actually heard, but they're confirming that. That's great. And a brand new map. Hopefully, it's not just Rebirth Edition. It's a brand new map. That will be amazing. And lastly, Call of Duty Vanguard will have 16 core 6v6 maps plus 4 maps for the 2 new 2v2 mode for a total of 20 maps i'll launch you guys hopefully you guys did enjoy this video if you guys could drop a like subscribe and comment down below maybe on this video i'll pick three people to receive the pre-order bonus or you know the whole game let me know in the comment section by dropping a like subscribing and commenting down below your thoughts and opinions i thought this was great i thought the event was great i thought it was amazing it wasn't as interactive you know you were just shooting the thing but you know uh the, the trailer was amazing i love these kind of events where they bring the players in to kind of work together to kind of you know uh see the trailer all together and, and these end games events are, are fun but um hope you guys enjoy the video subscribe i'm excited for another year maybe multiplayer k3 is going to be back who knows? Let me know in the comments if you guys missed Malte K3. Uh, and I'll see you guys in the next video. All right. Peace.